If you've ever been online, I'm sure you're aware that a lot of people are not that great at communicating online. In fact, they're downright nasty and mean. I'm Lee Chantel and I'd like to help you work out how to master online etiquette. And in particular, we want to help you make conscious choices online to not let anonymity bring out the worst in you. And there's so many more people that are not courteous to others and that's pretty much what etiquette means. I'd like you to, with this course, learn how you can lead by example to be the best version of yourself online. And this can be if you have a business and you'd like to show your best foot forward to your customers or potential customer base, or it could also just be for yourself and for the people who interact or see your interactions online, your family and your friends. Uh, so therefore this course is for people who want to learn the best practices to conduct themselves in the best way online and it shines a light on your best self and, uh, and this will help you learn the skills necessary to thrive online. You will learn to keep calm when communicating online and when dealing with negativity and hostility. You will learn how to be more mindful and conscious of sharing and, and who can view what you're sharing online. You'll be able to learn how to take the lead by example online and take responsibility for everything you do online, plus many more things. After this course you will leave with a new way of thinking and a new way of communicating online dealing with being online and knowing what to do and most importantly what not to do. Um, this will also help you have the confidence to work out the best option to communicate online. And this course will cover a variety of things in different ways. So there will be a lot of audio and visual like you're seeing now with me and you'll see some slides and some lectures. There will also be exercises and activities and a lot of resources plus some reviews and checklists so you can make sure that you are on top of everything that we have covered. And there'll be a lot of reflection too, just to see if you are where you want to be online. In this day and age, we ask a lot less of people and more of technology. And I'd like you to start asking more from yourself and the people around you and holding us all to account and holding us all to a better standard. The content that I will cover in this course is broken down into 10 different aspects, therefore 10 different modules. The first one is act, don't react. This is all about learning how to be more mindful and more conscious of what you share online. The second module is to keep private matters private and this is going over a few ways of how you can do that and some settings and your security and privacy settings. The third one is to use correct spelling, grammar and punctuation and I'm sure you've seen a lot of bad examples of that online and we'll just go over some of the often used um, mistakes that people make. Number four is be conscious of what you share online. How will what you share affect others? What will it mean to other people? Just being aware of the what in what you share online. And number five continues on from that and it's being mindful of who will read your posts. There's lots of different people who will interact with what you say online, from your best friend to your partner to your family and your grandparents. And I just want you to be more aware of these sort of things and how different people would interpret something that you say. Number six is to be your kind self. If you don't know how to be kind, then hopefully this will help. Um, number seven is to keep your passwords secret and hard to guess. And we go over a few of the often used passwords and some steps on how to make your passwords better. Number eight is to report cyberbullying and we go over what cyberbullying is and the steps online and on different social media channels that you can take to report something when you don't feel safe or you think other people shouldn't be putting up with certain things. 
Another thing is um, credit people if you use their creations. A lot of people just share things online nowadays and don't necessarily know where they're from. So we go over a few basic tips on how to find where it's from, how to um, give credit to people and to make sure that you lead by example. Number 10 is to take responsibility and it's just making sure you're aware that everything you share is an indicator of yourself as a person and what you want to promote to the outside world. And um, my name is Lee Chantel and I hope you join me for this Mastering Online Etiquette course.